Hey, I'm Irina Ho with Creative Muscle Studios and we are here at the circuit and we'll be interviewing Jonathan Chambers on how to survive your first year in business as an entrepreneur. So let's get started. I think part of the challenge in the first year is for an entrepreneur to kind of get past themselves. And so um, I think our culture does a really good job of waving the banner of entrepreneurship. But if you read a lot of popular magazines, um, it's kind of glorified, right? It's seen as really sexy and um, anybody can do it. Uh, you're gonna make a billion dollars. And so I think going into it, a lot of entrepreneurs kind of believe a lot of myths. And so I think what that does is it clouds out the reality um, and makes it probably more exciting than they thought it would be. And so I think an entrepreneur out the gate, um, now and right now starting out, has the deck kind of stacked against them as far as expectations. And so if they're able to go th kind of wave through that cloud of um, you know rom romanticized entrepreneurship and realize that the barriers have already been removed you know with the internet age we live in the tools that they have at their disposal um, the resources the funding there's really a lot of stuff that's already ready for them to be successful they just have to execute on an idea and get through the cloud and the dust and realize that they can do it it's just going to be um, it's going to be a long haul so i think the first year is really the most important time for an entrepreneur to Get out, launch it, test it, do their idea, don't worry about what everybody else is doing, um, focus on what they need to do and just keep, keep trying. So when I think of uh, practical tips to help entrepreneurs get started, I think the first thing is to, um, what's, it's actually not a quote of mine, but I think Steve Blank said it best, get your idea and just get out of the building. So I think entrepreneurs get kind of stuck on their laptop or in their document or in the really cool things like, let me go ahead and create a logo and buy a domain and now I feel good, I've got business cards, so I've got a business. I think way more uh, realistic is to just take your idea and hit the streets. Find out what people think, get feedback from um, potential customers, from friends and family, to really test your idea. I think if, if an entrepreneur can do that in just a couple of weeks, they'll be lightning year, you know, light years ahead of the average entrepreneur next to them. So um, that's one practical thing is just get out of the building. Another thing is to find a community that they can belong to. Um, I know I've been there where you, you're an entrepreneur, you're starting out, especially the first six months in your first year, you feel really lonely. Uh, you feel like nobody has these struggles, I'm not gonna make it. And I think if an entrepreneur can get out of their head and get in a community of people, um, they'll start to get their mind sharpened, they'll get their ideas tested, they'll find other connections. So I think community is key. Um, and that's super easy, just showing up to a group. Um, anybody can do that to kind of get out of their shell. So practical tips um, for an entrepreneur to survive the first year. Uh, I think they have to get this mindset um, that says entrepreneurship is a sprint. So sprint to the finish line, beat the competition, ship things fast. I think they have to let go of that the first year and really a adopt a mindset that says that entrepreneurship is more like a marathon. So I think entrepreneurs, again, they, they look at this romanticized view and so they think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this in my first two weeks I'm going to have five customers and I'm going to be very successful. Rather, I think they need to look long term and say how do I, how do I buckle in for the long term? It's going to be a long race, it's going to be a marathon, um, they're going to sweat, there's going to be blood and tears and so I think a practical thing is just having their mindset changed. Um, and part of that comes in being a part of a community, um, but also uh, another practical tip might be um, stay off internet community rooms. Um, don't be obsessed with social media and Facebook. Um, don't be obsessed with Twitter and Instagram because you'll find a lot of people that romanticize it. Instead, I think focus on your idea, stay laser focused on the thing you want to build, especially in the first year, and you won't be distracted by what everybody else is doing. So every morning, um, I find that as I, I get older, I probably get more locked into a tradition. Um, but my morning routine every morning is bulletproof coffee. Um, it's, I find that it clears and sharpens my mind. It, it's, it is my breakfast. It holds me over until like one or two. Um, and then another thing is I just find my favorite Spotify playlist um, because I've got three kids and so I get up a little earlier than the family. So I'm favorite Spotify playlist, something that will encourage me and motivate me. I get my Bulletproof coffee going. I usually sit on my back porch and kind of take in nature. And I, I find that it clears my head and sharpens my focus. Um, and then besides my favorite Spotify playlist and Bulletproof coffee, um, it's probably just thinking about the one main thing that I want to accomplish that day. 
keeping that at the forefront of my mind so that I can feel like that's what I want to accomplish. That's my main goal and then everything else kind of points towards that. Would like to thank Jonathan today for his time as well as the circuit and Cherokee Office of Economic Development for their collaboration. So if you have any questions for us that you would like to have answered, please connect with us on social media and let us know. Also feel free to check out our website at creativemuscle studios.com. Thanks for watching. See you later.